welcome back to the pajama gardeners i know what you're thinking i'm not in my greenhouse i'm still not in any pajamas i'm in the woods well i thought i'd come for a little bit of a sort of field trip because funny enough this is basically where my fascination with the world of plants actually began um, and this is down at my parents place over there all used to be my grandfather's farm um, and as a boy I used to come down here to pick a particular crop but just noticed these fantastic orchids that have been naturalizing down here now what we're looking for is that allium ursinum or wild garlic as a boy I used to come down here play around light fires cook sausages all of that and we used to take some of this stuff and uh, take a jacket potato take a potato slice it in half make a little bit of a cavity in the middle stuff it with some of the leaves and uh, roast on the fire absolutely delicious so it's pretty obvious what it actually looks like um, the only kind of plant you could possibly actually confuse it with I would have said would be lily of the valley but lily of the valley comes out a fair little bit later and what's fantastic about this is first off we've got the, the green leaves which are brilliant you can turn into asbesto pesto using as a spinach and if you look down in here see the little the little flower buds these are brilliant these can be turned into little capers they're really good and as the flower comes up and out you end up with a great big long stalk which you can take the stalks and turn it into spaghetti now this particular patch here just to emphasize how long it does actually take to establish this particular patch has taken i think all in all about six five or six years to actually spread its way up to the top of the bank here that just goes to show how slow it is but um here you'll see is the one plant that an awful lot of people do actually confuse with allium ursinum this is an arum lords and ladies or cuckoo pint you can see the color is very very similar but the shape is very very different see Sort of an arrowhead which is actually one of its names you really don't want to eat that that's full of uh, an oxalic acid i do believe which will basically cause you a bit of uh, problems breathing if you have too much of that but it's very easy to mix up if you've been picking all of this for quite a while you end up with garlic all over your hands and you, you all you can smell is garlic so this can very easily end up in the bag with it and there's just one other thing i want to show you this is a bit more of a garden plant which you should all recognize is magnolia so this comes out at the same time as wild garlic um, this is cultivated in japan for its petals and flowers and they pickle them i believe they call it kabushi and in fact these are really really tasty it tastes like cardamom now i learned that it was edible quite a little while ago and I assumed it was an Asian thing, but it turns out that in fact, we actually used to, oh wow, we actually used to grow these and cultivate these and pickle them ourselves here in Britain, long before the Japanese ever did. And it really does taste like cardamom, quite amazing. Anyway, that's our little field trip, thought I'd show you. Mm -hmm. 